Hey everyone, it's a camping weekend and no joke, it happens to be five o'clock. Five o'clock, you know what that means, it's happy hour and today we're gonna make sangria. So let's go talk to the sangria chef. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Rican sangria, huh? I am, yeah, but not your typical sangria. What kind of wine do we have? We have Montezuma's Camper's, Camper's White. White, yeah. All right, well, that's, uh, I guess that's the right one to have for this weekend. <laughs> it can be whatever you want it to be. So we're making a white sangria. Usually sangria is red, uh, dry red wine. So we're going to do it with white wine and use some citrus fruits, some orange juice, vodka, some club soda, a little bit of sugar if we need it. Um, the Montezuma Camper's White is a semi-sweet, so we'll see if we need it. All right. So this should add a nice tanginess to it. In fact, because we're doing all citrus fruits, and you can do different things like nectarines or peaches or kiwi, even strawberries. Um, but because the wine is semi-sweet, this will probably tarten it up a little bit, which might actually go really well with our taste buds. Do you put the whole bottle in? Yes, you do. Put some orange juice in. What's traditionally done with red um, sangria is brandy. So I, I think it depends on what your personal tastes are. There are so many different recipes online for sangria. You can find your own and, and tailor it the way you want it to. How much vodka did you put in? <laughs> you, don't you don't measure when you're camping. <laughs> you're not going anywhere, right? All right, well, let's put some club soda in. Give it a little bit of a fizz so it'll be nice and refreshing. It's about 70 degrees outside, so this is perfect. So let's stir this up with some sugar. I don't think I'm gonna put too much in. All right, a moment of truth. And you can kind of eat the fruit if you want to. Uh, in this case, I don't know how much you really wanna eat the citrus, but that's okay. Alrighty, cheers. Cheers. That's not bad. Yay, good. There's a little bit of a bite, but the, uh, the sweetness is perfect and there's that little kick of acidity. I like it. Mm -hmm. Very nice and it's cold. And what do we perfect. have to eat with it? Guacamole and nachos. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Well, from our happy hour to yours, I'm David. And I'm Leah. And this is Wine Forecaster.